It's not often you see a low-rise structure in the heart of Hong Kong. This village in Kowloon is home to around 100 people. Some have been here all their life. My father built this house all by himself, so this house is now 50 to 60 years old. John Chong was born here and is one of 15 households who still call it home. But his days are numbered because of government plans to demolish the site at the end of the month. If the government was about the people, it wouldn't force us to give up our homes before we've been resettled. The village was originally built by indigenous people in the 16th century, with the walls acting as defence against local pirates. Three quarters of the homes have already been demolished, with plans to convert this historic site into private housing. Hong Kong is undergoing a huge shortage of housing. And we can, uh, as we know, the new development will uh, provide uh, two tall uh, private apartments for the market. It will uh, make good use of the land. This is very treasured in the urban areas. While it's the history of this village that these residents are so proud of, they're also concerned about where they go to from here. The government has offered some compensation, but not everyone's convinced it's enough to help them secure a home elsewhere. For this small amount of money, you, you cannot do anything. But even you, you, you do the, the rent a flat, and the rent is very expensive. As well as residents, there are small businesses, including Kai Wing Lee's. He's been running this store for 40 years. The compensation the government offers is not enough for renovating a new premise, let alone start a new business. I won't be able to run any business anymore. Government spokesmen were not available for comment, but the government's message is clear. If the villagers don't leave by the end of the month, they face criminal charges and hefty fines. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.